Discussions have started on social media that the delivery of 1st S-400 Regiment will take place in November 2021, which is much earlier than the arrival of engineers of General Electric in mid-2022, and the S-400 delivery could trigger CATSA sanctions that might affect the delivery of American F-404 and F-414 engines to power India's Tejas Mark 1A and Tejas Mark 2 program. A senior ranking official of Hindustan Aeronautics has clarified that HAL is in touch with General Electric to work out deliveries of future batches of engines, and it is unlikely that there will be any disruption in supply due to CATSA sanctions. The Indian Air Force and HAL officials have not discussed any other alternative engines for the indigenous fighter jets, but when asked about the M883 engines for the Tejas Mark 1A program, the official has said that the M883 engines are not cleared to power single-engine fighter jets, and it could require several minor changes and hardening of some sections by Safran, so that it can have a higher tolerance to damages and improved safety measures before it can be considered, and in the same way the F414 engine had to undergo changes and additional safety measures for the Tejas Mark II program. The official also said, that the cavalry engine has been separated from the Tejas program due to insufficient generation of power, as the cavalry dry engine can generate only 46 kN thrust, and the power generation can jump to 74 kN thrust if it is added with an afterburner section, which is not enough to replace the present F404 engines that generate 84 kN thrust. The gas turbine research establishment will soon start testing four prototypes of the cavalry dry engine for the UCAF program, but it is still four years away from being cleared for production. A highly skilled Indian startup company Saga Defence Engineering Private Limited had recently launched its auto NAF unmanned marine surface vehicle, which has now been successfully inducted into the Indian Navy, and it can be used for intelligence surveillance and reconnaissance operations. The company had also showcased two unmanned surface vessels during Aero India 2021, and has recently won the IDEX competition for developing autonomous underwater drone swarms for the Indian Navy, which are equipped with advanced image processing and artificial intelligence capabilities to detect underwater mines, and coordinate the delivery of at least 7 kg payload on the mines. Autonomous underwater swarm drones, in this challenge the winner is Sagar Defence represented by Nikunj Prasha. Sagar Defence and DRDO have also jointly developed a fully autonomous charging and launching system known as SkyDock, which is aimed at automating UAV operations, and will be helpful in applications like border surveillance and payload delivery. A French non-governmental organization has announced that it has filed a request on 28 April for a judicial inquiry into alleged corruption on India's acquisition of 36 Rafale fighter jets deal worth 7.87 billion euros. The NGO had also called for a French investigation in 2018, after Dassault Aviation picked Reliance as the Indian industrial partner, which had little experience in the aeronautics industry, and the NGO claims that the French national financial prosecutor failed to conduct a full inquiry. The NGO has said that it has conducted its own inquiry over the last two years, and has claimed suspicious payments hidden commissions and the absence of anti-corruption clauses in the contracts.